हेलो गाइस एंड वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल माय नेम इज़ शशांक एंड इन द टू डेज मॉड्यूल और वी कैन से इन द टू डेज वीडियो वी विल लुक फॉर द फर्स्ट रिस्पॉन्डर पर्सन आई होप यू ऑल आर एंजॉइंग द सीरीज ऑफ इंट्रोडक्शन टू डिजिटल फॉरेंसिक्स इन विच वी विल टुडे सी द मॉड्यूल नंबर फाइव द फर्स्ट रिस्पॉन्डर पर्सन सो वॉट आर द मॉड्यूल ऑब्जेक्टिव In this video, we will cover certain topics like electronic evidence, first responder person, electronic devices, first responder toolkit, basics, then first response by laboratory forensic staffs, evaluating, securing the crime scene, conducting preliminary interviews, documenting electronic crime scenes, collecting and preserving electronic evidences. its packaging and transportation too and also reporting the crime scene the note taking checklist and common mistakes done by the first responder person so let's begin now we will see the electronic evidences the electronic evidence is in is information and data of investigation value that is stored on or transmitted by an, an electronic devices it is hidden similar to fingerprint evidence or dna evidences it can be broken altered or damaged or destroyed by improper handling it expires with a pre set time first responder first responder is a person who arrives first at the crime scene and accesses the victim's computer system after the incident he or she may be network administrator law and form law enforcement officer or investigate investigation officer he or she is responsible for protecting integrating and preserving the evidence obtained from the crime scene now we will see the roles of the first responder so here are some roles of the first responder that is identifying the crime scene protecting the crime scene preserving the temporary and fragile evidence collecting the complete information about the incident documenting all the findings then packaging and transporting the electronic evidence this all comes under the roles of forensic forensic first responder officer or we can say the first responder officer now we will look after electronic devices its types and what are the main evidences which are need to be collected at the electronic crime scene so first of all is computer systems then hard drive thumb drive memory cards smart cards then biometric devices scanners answering machines digital cameras pager personal dig- digital assistants then comes the printer removable storage devices tapes compact discs dvds and many more other includes like mobile modem scanner copiers credit card skimmers digital watches then fax machine and many more these all are the electronic devices which we need to collect at the crime scene then What is a first responder toolkit? A first responder toolkit is a set of tools that helps first responder first responder collect genuine and presentable evidences. The first responder toolkit is very important to to be kept while going for the investigation. Then creating a first responder toolkit. Create a trusted forensic computer or test bed. document the details of forensic computers document the summary of the collected tools and always the main important test the tools then evidence collecting tools and equipments departments should have general crime scene processing tools for an example cameras notepads sketchpads evidence forms crime scene tapes and markers documentation tools like cable stack indelible felt tip markers 
plastic on labels and many more these all tools are used for the documentation then this disassembly and removal tools these are like flat blade and screw drivers pliers and wire cutters and specialized screw drivers then package and transport supplies this all comes under the evidence collecting tools and equipments so for the package and transport supplies it comes anti static bags anti static bubble wraps cable ties evidence bags evidence tape and other tools includes like uh, gloves hand trucks and magnifying glasses other tools also include notebook computers then uh, for software tools it includes nks forensics ftk pro discover hex workshop xway forensics these are the software tools for the collecting the evidence then hardware tools tools includes paraden forensics tableua now the first responder rule under no circumstances should anyone with the exception of qualified computer forensics personnel make any attempts to restore or recover information from a computer system or device that holds electronic information incident response in different situations first response to an incident may involve three different groups of people and each will have differing skills and need to carry out differing task first of all we will look to the system administrators the actions taken by the system administrator after discovery of a potential computer violation will play a vital role in the investigation once an incident has been discovered by a system administrator they must report it according to the current organizational incident reporting procedures the system administrator should then not touch the system unless directed to by either the incident or duty manager or once or one of the forensic analyst assigned to the case first response by non laboratory staff it includes securing the scene which includes secure the, securing the scene and ensuring that it is maintained in a secure state until the forensic team comes then making notes making notes about the scene that will eventually be handed over to the forensic team now here what is the incident scene the whole area surrounding a suspect computer and not just a computer it's a, it's computer itself is the incident scene securing and e- evaluating electronic crime scene a checklist follow the policies of legal authority for securing the crime scene verify the type of incident make sure that the scene is safe for you and for other responders too isolate other person who are present at the scene locate and help the victims verify the data related to the offenders transmit additional flash messages to other responding units then request additional help at the scene if needed establish a security security perimeter parameter protect and preserve the evidence that is at risk of being lost protect perishable data make sure that the devices that contain perishable data are secured documented and photographed recognize the telephone lines document disconnect and label telephone lines or network cables observe the situation at the scene and record the observations protect physical evidences or hidden fingerprints in this photo you can see securing of the crime scene then questions to ask when client calls the forensic investigation investigator uh, questions are asked about the description of the incident incident manager running the incident k 
case name title for the incident location of the incident what jurisdiction of the case or seizure is to be performed under details of what is to be seized other work to be performed at the scene whether the search or seized seizure is to be convert or overt and whether local management should know consent there are times that the user is present and the consent from the user of the hardware is required and also the consent is given sample of the consent search form this is the form where we can see it is it is known as the consent search form then the witness signatures depending on the jurisdiction a signature may or may not be required to certify collection of evidences typically where one signature is required the forensic analyst or law enforcement officer performs the seizure when two signatures are required guidance should be sought to determine whose signature should be taken into the consideration whoever signs as witness needs clear understanding of the rule and may be required to provide a witness statement or attend court then conducting prelim preliminary interviews interview separated and identify all persons available at the scene and record the locations at the time of entry owners and users of electronic devices found at the scene usernames and internet service providers password required to access the system software or data purpose of using the system automatic application in use unique security systems or destructive devices here you can see the witness statement checklist then documenting electronic crime scene documentation of the scene creates an unchanging historical record of the scene document the physical scene such as position of the mouse and the location of the components near the system document related electronic components that are difficult to find record the condition of the computer system storage media electronic devices and conventional evidence including power status of the computer take a photograph of the computer screen and write notes on what you have seen on the screen photographing the scene photographing a scene should be the first step taken by the forensic team on arrival photographing of the crime scene be done in a manner not to alter or damage the scene the ideal situation is to first take several photographs that will establish the location of the scene followed by a series of 360 degree photograph photographs 360 degree photographs are simply overlapping photographs depicting the entire crime scene the key to remember in crime scene photography is to go from the overall scene down to the smallest piece of evidence photographs should also be taken of the immediate work area to include computer disk handwritten notes and other computer equipments photographs should also be taken of the rear of rear of the computer to accurately display how the leads are connected if this cannot be done then all cables must be labeled and pc reconnected back at the forensic laboratory should be photographed sketching the scene a crime scene sketch should be prepared with details in the overall scene this should include the location of the items within the office area these are the images of the video shooting the crime scene and also of the sketching collecting and preserving the electronic evidences when a incident is reported where a computer is assumed to be part of the incident it is often the case that this is the first and only item seized this is wrong the scene should be searched in a circular motion with the concept of the computer being at the center of the circle evidence should be identified recorded seized bagged and tagged on the site with no attempts 
to determine contents or status. Items of evidence as located should be photographed, identified with the notes and then collected. Then collecting and preserving electronic evidences. Document any activity on the electronic devices found at the crime scene. Confirm the power space state of the electronic devices such as computer, mobile, PDA and many more. By checking flashlights, running fans and other sounds which shows the device is powered on. Observe the power status of the monitor to check if it is on, off or in sleep mode. Then the order of volatility. Registers, cache, routing tables, process tables, kernel statistics and memory. Temporary file systems, disk or other storage medias, remote logging and monitoring data, physical configuration, topology, and archival data. Dealing with powered on computers. If a computer is switched on and the screen is viewable, then record the programs running on the screen, photograph the screen. Then if a computer is on and monitor shows some, some pictures or screen saver, then move the mouse slowly without depressing any mouse button, take a photograph of the scene screen and record the information displayed. Now if a monitor is powered on and the display is blank, then what to do? Then move the mouse slowly without depressing any mouse buttons and take a photograph. Then dealing with powered off computers. If computer is switched off, then leave it off. If only monitor is switched off and the display is blank, turn the monitor on, move the mouse slightly, observe the changes from a blank screen to another screen and note the changes. Photograph the scene. Now third situation, if only monitor is switched off and the display is blank, then turn the monitor, move the mouse slightly and if the screen does not changes, do not perform any other keystrokes and photograph the scene. Then dealing with network computers. First of all, unplug the network cable from the router and modem. If computer is off, leave it off and if the computer is on, then photograph the scene. If the computer is on and the screen is blank, move the mouse slowly and take a photograph of the scene. Leave all the connected device and cords for data identification. Unplug all the cords and devices connected to the computer. Then dealing with open files and startup files. Malware attacks on the computer system create some files in the startup folder to run the malware program. Open the recently created document from startup or system32 folder for window and RC local file for Linux. Note down the data and time of the files. Examine the open file for sensitive data such as password, image and many more. Search for unusual Mac times on vital folders and startup files. Then operating system shutdown procedure. It is important to shut down the operating system in a proper manner so that it will not damage the integrity of the files. Different operating system have different shutdown procedures. Computers and servers. Photograph the computer and ancillary connected equipment. Photograph the connection behind the computer and individually label them. Record the cables and the respective ports to which they are connected. Seal the power socket with tape to prevent inadvertent use. Disconnect the monitor, keyboard, 
mouse and CPU. Then preserving electronic evidences. Document the actions and changes that you observe in the monitor, computer, printer or in other, other peripherals, peripherals. Take a photo of the monitor screen if the computer is on is in on state. Photograph the connections of the computer and the corresponding cables and label them individually. If any electronic devices such as PDA, cell phone are present, then take a photograph, label the device and collect all the cables and transport them along with the devices. Then seizing the portable computers. Photograph the portable and ancillary connected equipment. Record which cables are connected to what port in the portable computers. Photograph the connectors in the back of the portable computer and individually label them. And the most important, remove the battery. Then switch to on portables. Portables with their power on should be handled in the same way as the powered on PC. The date and time when the portable wake ups must be recorded. If it is not possible to remove the battery, pressing down on the power on off switch for 30 seconds or so will force up hard power off. Prior to pulling the power on a portable, the battery must be removed. Then collecting and preserving electronic evidences. Here are some of the images of uh, analyzing and collecting and preserving the data. Then evidence bag content list. It includes date and time of seizure, seized by whom, exhibit number, seized from which place, details of the contents of the evidence bag. In this manner we can do the packaging of the electronic evidences. Then the exhibit number. All evidence collected should be marked as an exhibit using this format. Where Triple A are the initials of the forensic analyst or law enforcement officer seizing the equipment. In this manner, the DDMMYY is the date of seizure. Triple N is the sequential number of the exhibits seized by Triple A starting with 001 and going to Triple N. Now, the transport of electronic evidences keep electronic evidence away from the magnetic sources while transporting store the evidence in a secure area that is away from high temperature and humidity avoid storing electronic evidence in vehicles for a longer period make sure that computers and other electronic components are not packed in containers Maintain the chain of custody on the evidence that is to be transported. Chain of custody Chain of custody refers to a written account of the individuals who had the sole physical custody of physical of evidence of a piece of evidence from the time it was seized until the end of the case. Simple format of the chain of custody. Here you can see in the proper manner and in the systemic manner the chain of custody is maintained this is the worksheet that is a computer system worksheet for the chain of custody these all data then connections and peripherals are maintained and noted down at the crime scene by the officer this chain of custody forms includes each and everything each and every date and time and when, who came at the crime scene who who has received and at what for what reason it, it has been received all the things are mentioned in this chain of custody on property evidence envelope bagged and sign outs these are the forms for chain of custody then reporting the crime scene first responder creates a final report after completing the forensics process that contains complete information of the forensic process. 
then the note taking checklist first of all let's see about the crime scene checklist date and time of call out name number source of call out incident type date and time of arrival physical location address type of location weather conditions lightning conditions whether it is natural or artificial contact person at the scene that is a scene commander name his rank or her rank serial number all those things are noted then other officers at the scene the crime scene log paramedics at the scene medical examiners at the scene media at the scene all these are noted then victims responsible party its name date of birth address all the things then vehicles at the scene its location damage number plate license color model and all those things then other things also include which are important are evidence finder recorder about search warrant evidence exterior point of entry location type conditions tire and footwear impressions description location direction of travel expanded cartridge cases description location and all other things then it also includes photographs photo log point of view camera position subject overall wide angle view medium view close up view and also with the scale then comes the first responder common mistakes most of the time system or network administrator work as a for first responder at the crime scene common mistakes committed by the first responder are as follows shutting down or rebooting the victim's computer assuming that some components may be reliable or usable not having access to baseline documentation about the victim computer then not documenting the data collection processes these all are the common mistakes done by the first responder at the crime scene thank you so much for watching our video i hope you all are enjoying our series of introduction to digital forensics this will help you a lot in the future and or, or during your courses please visit our website www.thesaihub.in for the more material and information thank you so much